In 1956, American engineer Wilson Greatbatch was working alone in his cluttered workshop, trying to build a device to record irregular heartbeats. He reached into a box of parts, grabbed a resistor, and soldered it into the circuit, only to realize moments later that he had picked the wrong one. When he powered the device, it didn't record anything at all. Instead, it emitted a steady electrical pulse. Thump, thump, thump. Almost exactly like a human heartbeat. Great Batch froze. This wasn't a glitch. It was a discovery. He held the tiny circuit in his palm, stunned by its rhythm. What if this mistake could replace a failing heartbeat? At the time, pacemakers were bulky, wall-powered machines. No one had a small, implantable version. But here, by accident, was the missing piece. For two years, Great Batch worked in secrecy, refining the device in his barn. Eventually, he brought his invention to surgeons, and in 1958, the first implantable pacemaker was successfully used in a patient. A miswired resistor, one wrong part pulled from a bin, became the spark that saved millions of lives.